Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the strategy, effective strategy to ace your NEET 2025 examination. So we have only 25 days left. Only 25 days. So how to use these 25 days to get more marks in your NEET exams. Okay. So I know you are preparing well. I know you will be working hard to score more marks. But some of you may lack the important strategy to be followed to get more marks. Isn't it? So whatever the questions, whatever the concept I'm doing ma'am, but while solving the problems, I stuck somewhere. Right? Many of you have, must be a repeaters who attempted last year need examination and also trying to do this year also right so this year you will ace it you will rock it don't worry you have strong foundation and make use of these 25 days much effectively i'm sure you will get more marks you will become a good doctor okay so what are that strategy you can use we have just four weeks. Okay, just four weeks. The topic to be covered are chemistry, physics and biology. Biology we have botany and zoology. Right? But the main thing you need to do is that you have to follow a smart approach instead of a volume approach. What you mean by that? What is smart approach? What is volume approach see we have lots and lots of chapter to be discussed stop lots and lot of chapter to be read right but we have only 25 days left so in those 25 days cover only high priority chapters i'm going to give you what are the high priority chapters in neat chemistry okay so watch the video till the end we have a little surprise for you guys so watch it till the end so high priority chapter you have to follow okay you have to balance all three subjects don't omit anything okay so what are the mistakes usually students do who were attended the who are maybe the repeaters or who were scoring less marks in grand test or mock test. First of all, they don't have any plan. They are just reading the concept strikes there in, your, in their mind and then practicing some questions and forget it. Also, I have told you, you have to cover high priority chapters and you must be consistent. The consistency is very much important here. You have to consistently prepare, consistently put your effort just 25 days. Do it like a uh, yoga. Do it like this is your life. Right. And most importantly, don't do the same chapter again and again. Okay, today I did more concept. I uh, scored two marks less. Tomorrow also I'll, I'll practice more concept. Don't, 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 please don't do that. Analyze on weakness and move on. Note it down. What is the error you just made to make this question wrong? Okay. So, let's say you were studying 15 hours a day. Okay. So now the schools are also closed. So you have to study it on your own. Some of you may go to coaching classes. Some of you may refer YouTube videos. We have already posted all those crash courses for each and every chapters. Okay. So 15 hours. Let's take 2 hours for physics. 2 hours for chemistry. And 2 hours for bio. I have a little trick for you, especially in NEET. Uh, it is mostly based on NCRT. 
okay you have to be super thorough in ncert then only you can score more marks okay super thorough means each and every line especially in biology if you are thorough with if you know each and every line meaning of ncert then you can score even full marks also right so especially in biology because biology we have botany and zoology most of the questions 98 percentage of the questions will come from ncert line based only the trick is that how well you understood the concept that is more important okay there are some questions just just memory based okay botany is just memory based so that's why people are scoring full marks in biology okay so six are sorted what about remaining hours remaining how many hours you have nine hours nine hours you have to do practice 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 so as i always say you have to practice all the mcqs you have to write the mock test you have to write the grand test and i suggest you to write it on the not on the computer screen i suggest you to write it on if you getting any mock test paper just take a print out of it okay just take a print out of it and if you can use the bubble sheet it's on a uh, bubble sheets are online it's available online also you can just download it and try to work on that okay that is the real mock test yeah so do the practice on hard copy not on the computer screen because je if you are doing on the computer screen okay because the students are going to attend on that only but in case of need you are going to use the bubble sheet right own mark sheet so in that case the hard copy practice is much more effective why are you saying hard copy practice ma'am why we need to print out because for shading it will take more time at least for shading the proper shading you have to bake na so for that it will take 3 to 5 seconds so we have 180 questions 180 questions if you are taking 1 minute for each question you will not com- you you can't complete 180 questions because for shading it will take more question, more time for uh, calculation it will take more time so average on an average you must be able to solve within 10 to 30 seconds at max 45 seconds that's it for each question 10 to 30 seconds don't worry examiner will set a question paper like that only they will not give you some big calculation part they will not give you the out of box questions they will not do that so don't worry but you should be able to finish it by 10 to 30 seconds that is super important why are you writing mock test writing mock test will give you two use uses the first one is that the mind will work for the question pattern for make your mind so for making your mind you are writing mock test because the concept you are studying line by line you are understanding it differently but how are you applying that that is more important isn't it so for that you are writing mock test the second thing is time management so i'm asking you to write the mock test to do the time management okay fine so as i told you what are the high yield topics in chemistry so chemistry we have many chapters in 11th and 12th grade out of that i'm going to give you five chapters which is super important so whoever started the preparation whoever uh, started doing the mock test started uh, your preparation now 
just to focus on these 12 chapters first then if you have time then you, if you can't score more marks in mark test then you can go with the other chapters but these 12 chapters are super 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 important okay in case of physical chemistry you have to go about atomic structure then thermodynamics in chemistry you can expect 45 marks right so these topics will be very much useful to get more marks equilibrium both chemical and ionic equilibrium then kinetics so if you want more then you can pick up electrochemistry and redox okay this is extra chapter for you these four are very important then talking about inorganic part of course mole concept the first chapter some basics concept of chemistry the first chapter is super important because that is the basic for other chapters then chemical bonding these are basic chapters you can expect the combination questions as well then the most important inorganic chapter is that coordination chemistry so the inorganic part whatever the examination you are preparing just go with ncrt if you are preparing for any exams any entrance examinations just prepare it from ncrt that is more than sufficient for inorganic part so what about organic so organic chemistry goc that is the basic some basic principles and techniques organic principles and techniques that chapter then comes hydrocarbons hydrocarbons will cover more or less the preparation part of other chapters other 12th grade chapters other than that you have to go about alcohol phenol ethers alcohol phenol ether that chapter then amines then named reactions named reactions we have one video on named reactions I just covered all those named reactions in one video. Okay, so you can just go through it, and there we have uh, posted a, a checklist also for named reactions. You can get there, uh, there itself. Okay, so these are the important chapters you have to cover in chemistry. These are the high yield chapters. Just make a checklist. Uh, I will be attaching the checklist in the description also. Just make the checklist and practice more and more questions. Okay. So if I am covering these chapters, will I get more marks? You will get, but you have to practice more questions. So for that, I just segregated the chapter wise previous year papers. Okay. Past 20 year papers, we have analyzed and put it as a uh, chapter wise questions okay physical inorganic organic and then um, what are the chapters or important chapters everything and we do have a crash course video also along with that we have the mock test papers mock test papers which consist of the previous year questions and anticipated questions as well. Chapter wise mock test is also available. Part test mark test is also available. Full syllabus mark test is also available. Okay. So we have total 20 mock test papers. And then plus 5 mock tests which consist of whole physics, chemistry and bio. All three PCB chapters. So if you are practicing these questions, this will be around more than 1000. Okay. So if you use this wisely and practicing more questions only, you will get more marks. Okay. 
so this package i'll be giving uh, the link over here i'm telling you the price also it's just 199 no extra cost it's just 199 you're just going to register and pay it all other question paper with the, the quiz pattern you will get okay the mock test paper you can easily download it uh, and do the sharing okay i am attaching the bubble sheet as well you can download it there itself and most importantly ma'am whenever i am solving problem i am getting stuck somewhere okay don't worry just get your picture of that problem and post it there within one or two hours you will get an answer once i see the question i'll reply reply back to you as simple as that so you will get whether you are be taking up this 199 pack or not this out ask your doubts is completely free for our students okay whoever you may be you can ask the questions you can take a pic of it and upload it get the answer as simple as that okay so please make wise use of this just to revise i'm telling you focus on high yield concepts and then create a error analysis error analysis which is nothing but so if you are preparing any question if you are pre preparing any uh, solving any paper okay you just made a mistake so note it down this is what the question i just made this mistake this will use in whatever the category it may be it will be very useful okay you made a mistake the percentage of error detection will be 72 to 75 to 80 percentage if you are noting down the mistake next time you won't do that okay so do the error analysis and then follow the mock test strategy most importantly do it on the hot copy that's why i have given you the pdf of it okay so do it stay healthy your health is more important don't fall sick in any of these days get a proper sleep stay hydrated if you are feeling sleepy if you are uh, not well continuous don't study continuously take a frequent break not more than 5 minutes okay 5 minute of break every hour and then re reward yourself like if you uh, finish a mock test paper with 70 700 marks out of 720 reward yourself okay do the checklist a day be day before think about what are the things i'm going to do tomorrow okay so prepare a checklist put a time table and work on it i'm saying you definitely 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 you will get more marks in your chemistry examination sorry neat examination especially in chemistry you will get full marks okay don't worry keep these tools handy if you want you can join you can participate in the uh, 199 package and ask your doubts it's completely free make wise use of it okay all the best for your examinations and one more thing if you finding any difficulty in any paper or any uh, subject or not subject in this chapter keep me posted just tell me this chapter i'm lying behind so can you make a video of it just tell me okay we'll do it so thank you and all the best for your examination